knows what my daughter's been baking. Some kind of peanut butter, starchy sugar cookie. I don't know. I'm hungry. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So technically it is the next day because it's one o'clock in the morning, but I did do this look for you guys in the Ipsy unboxing video that I just did. That was earlier in the day. So, you know, it's really day number two. I wanted to get out my 2019 favorites video for you guys. So I made sure to rush home after work and one o'clock in the morning, here I am a little delusional, but I'm here. Let's hop on in already because yeah, it's one in the morning. If I haven't said that already, I'm saying it again. Oh, just ignore me. So first and foremost, I love and adore Kylie lip products. I've been using them since she first launched. The reason I love them so much is not because it's Kylie, you know, it's because her lip liners glide on so smoothly and effortlessly. And that's what I like. And they don't feather. They kind of just glide on and they kind of stay put for a good amount of time. So one of my go-tos with hers lately is this this one right here. Well, you can't see the name, but it's the Candy K. Just kind of color a little bit more there. See that? I don't know what else to say. I have about four or five that are my top picks from her. But lately, this past few months, the Candy K is my go-to. Next, so I have been a ColourPop fanatic, this, literally since they first came out. And I've had this guy right here um, a lot longer than I should have, probably. But it's called Toy. And I don't know why I bother trying to show you guys. This stinking camera never wants to work for me. That's a really good one. And this one right here is... Oh, look at look at the damage that has been done to this guy right here. Yeah, I've had this way too long. I don't want to see it go. But this one I think was called the I Love Sarai. And I don't know who she is, but she's somebody. I know, she's, she's, she's something somewhere. But this color right here has been another one of my favorites. That right there see so you have more of a pinkish in this one and more of the nude in this one and it's actually the lip liner that I'm wearing right now toy there's that one right there also with lip liners I have been enjoying this Pat McGrath these permagel liners again are also the same type of style so if you're getting the picture I like these same type of tones, you know, nudish, pinkish, peachy colors. You got it. These are quite expensive. Pat McGrath, she's amazing. She's awesome. She's, I mean, you can't say enough good things about her. But this guy right here is about $30. It's 28 bucks, like $27.99, something like that. So I really hold on to this. Like, I'm very careful how much I use it. But I do enjoy this color a lot. I also, from Pat McGrath, like this one particular gloss of hers right here. This one is called the Dare to Bear. And I'll just... See, there it is right there. It has its own color tint to it. So you don't need to put it on top of a lipstick. You can wear it by itself, which I do that quite often. But it doesn't last, you know, it comes off really fast. So I kind of just like to put it as a topper. But it is a really pretty shade. That one's good for me. Another lip product that I really loved all year long is this Makeup Forever Artist Nude Cream. Let's see it right here. It has its own shade to it. It's just so pretty. I'll wear this by itself. I wear it on top of lip liner. I just wear it quite often. Surprisingly, the word that I can't say properly is it il ilamasqua? Ilamasqua? I don't know how to say this person's name. Ilamasqua? Il Ilamasqua? I don't know. But this came in my Ipsy bag. It has that real nice pinkish undertone in there. The reason I like this a lot, I didn't think I would because I never even heard of this brand. But I did get quite a few things by, Il by this brand right here. The Llama brand. This lipstick is not sticky. It lasts a good while. And it's not crumbly, it's not too matte. It's kind of like a nice silk. I don't know how to explain it. It just glides on and I enjoy it. Let's move on. This was a bad year for foundations. If any of you guys have been with me for a while, you'll know that I did quite a few foundation reviews 
and a lot of them just didn't pass the test for me. So I'm not gonna say about the ones I don't like, I'm just gonna say this Stila is the guy that ended up being the one that I, this guy is the one that he holds the gold, okay? And he's in gold, so suits him well. Very, very liquidy. You have to shake it up really good. It is so nice and silky smooth, and it really leaves like a, a skin-like finish. It's really sheer. So if you're looking for full coverage, this is not a full coverage. You can build it up to medium, good medium coverage. I'll put two coats and I'm good to go. I like it, and it lasts me all day long. I did a review on that, if any of you guys wanna watch that. It's called Foundation Reviews, and I have Stila on there. So go take a look at it. So my face wants to hate me sometimes, and I have to, baby it you know i have to go and find it that one product that's gonna work that stila hide and chic right there that one works for me it's like 40 bucks i think 39 dollars. but to me it's worth it i don't break out it covers me good and i'm happy it lasts me all day moving on we're gonna go to concealers tart shape tape that's it that's all i use i just like to keep what works so i'm gonna probably try out some more concealers this year and i'll be doing a video of that and i'll put that up for you guys but until then I like to use what I got and kind of run it low, you know? I'm not really into primers. It's never been my thing, really, because I haven't found one that does anything, you know? Some of them might have that silicone and they kind of smooth out some of your pores, but they feel so greasy, so I don't know. Every so often you'll see me use a primer, but primer is just not my main thing to, to put more product on my face. I just don't like putting that much product on my face. Especially if I don't see it doing anything, you know, like, why are you sitting there? Just taking up space on my face. Now we're going to talk about highlighters real quick. This Ofra right here is such a beautiful highlighter. I use it constantly in, like, all my videos almost. It's such a nice highlighter. It's just a beautiful tone. It's not too gold. It's not too white. It's just, it's a beautiful tone. Oh, that highlighter is the only highlighter that I use all year until... This little girl right here came into my life during Christmas. Yes, she stole my heart. This Jaclyn Hill highlighter is what I have in my inner corners today. And it's what I used on top of this little heart right here. Um, I got two of them. These are called the beaming highlights. I got this one in the color extra. And I've got the other one in amped. It's a little bit more of a copper kind of tone. I don't have it with me because I couldn't find it. I think it's in my car somewhere because that's where it belongs, right? It belongs in the car. I do have a Jaclyn Hill highlighter video that I tried these out, but look at that. Man, so pretty. I also have the palette. Um, it's also very nice, but if I had to buy one, I'd, I'd buy this extra beaming one. Let's just do a side by side with that Ofra. See? Very nice as well. I mean, they're they're really nice highlighters. Ofer didn't go anywhere. I still got her in there. I just, uh, I'm kind of gravitating towards my Jaclyn Hill a little bit. I gotta use it. I mean, it's like 50 bucks, you know? <laughs> gotta use it, okay? This right here was a billion dollar brow set. That's the name of the company. This guy right here has made my life unbelievably easy. All you gotta do is get your concealer or your highlighter, whatever side you want, and just go and just kind of like draw under here and you highlight your brow bone. I use it to draw these little hearts today. You can do so much with this little product right here. Awesome. I would have never went and bought this. Never. No, I would have never had thought to buy this, but it came in my bag. Look at that. Moving on to my eye products. Anybody who's been watching me any amount of time will know exactly what I'm about to say. When it comes to mascara, what do you think is my favorite mascara? You're right the IT Cosmetics Superhero. This has been my favorite mascara for almost, I think a year and a half running already. It, it just lengthens, it thickens, it just does a good job for me, you know? And if you do a good job for me, why am I gonna fire you? <laughs> no, you're my teammate, we work together, okay? So this is the brush right here. Nothing fancy, nothing special. It just, it just does a good job. I mean, it's a really good formula. You start to wonder and try to reach out and see what else is out there and the Lancome uh, Monsieur Big I did a video as well with these two side by side and surprisingly they both look the same I put this guy on one side I put my superhero on the other side 
they both look the same. I was in shock. So I've been giving my it kind of a little break, you know, just, just give me a little break. But another product in my Ipsy bag, man, Ipsy was on a roll. Then they dropped the ball. But they were on a roll. But they gave me this guy today. This is the Thrive Cosmetics right there. And this is the vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free mascara. It has hard bristles, but they're like little needle-like bristles. That's what I'm wearing right now. This mascara has it's the tubing one, so it has the little fibers. And for one, this is a heavy-duty, like this is heavy, heavy-duty. This is all metal, it feels like. I don't know what the heck they were thinking. Like I said in my video earlier, it's basically a weapon. So watch out, okay? Try to come at me, I dare you. He means business. It works beautifully. It's like a different level. It really is. It made my bottom lashes look great. The top lashes look great. I've had this on all day long. It's been way past 12 hours. <sighs> you know, who would have thunk it, you know, that I would be raving about another mascara that's not it cosmetics. I don't know. It's crazy. It's a crazy start to my year. The only issue is when you're washing it off, if you ever washed off those tubey mascaras that give you the little fibers on the end, you get little flakes of gunk. So it, it's those fibers that are washing off. It's not like smearing. It's just particles falling. I don't know. You, you got to try it. And you'll see what I'm talking about. But that's such a small minor you know, con. To me, it's like you have, you know, you've got beautifulness going on. So, you know, you kind of give and take. You know what I mean? Give and take, people. Don't be picky, <laughs> says says me. Yeah. It's, it's, shh. The next eye product is my Stila eyeliner right here. I use this eyeliner in almost every single video. And it's just... It's, it's my ride or die. I've been using Stila eyeliner since they launched this right here. It draws a beautiful wing for me. It's not too thin. It's not too thick. I have no problems with it. It stays in place. It doesn't smear. It doesn't do anything. It just stays there until I tell it not to. Good boy. This one right here. We're going to talk about eyeshadow. I have had one that quickly became a favorite, and that's this right here. This color pop was the first color pop eyeshadow that I've ever bought. I buy tons of color pop lip products. Oh my gosh, lots and lots of them. But this is the very first eyeshadow palette I bought from them. I immediately was in love. I just I was. Look at this. So pretty. They blend so well. Like you just you, you can't deny it. They just they feel so soft. And they just blend and they're nicely pigmented I, I just give it an award you know just give it a golden globe and call it a day they're they're just beautiful look at that beautiful the shimmer is beautiful try one try a color pop eyeshadow just go buy anyone and, and tell me what you think they're so inexpensive they're like i think this guy right here was I believe $18, 12 shadows. It's a no brainer. You know, they blend out well. If they blend out well and you've got pigment, you got my attention. That's what I want. I want blendability and I want pigment. That's what I want. Get a good color, slap it on the face, go about your day. They last, they stay put, no complaints. Some more I'm gonna just throw a shout out to that I don't really have next to me um, because I can't find it is a Jaclyn Hill Bling Boss, something like that. I've been using that palette for a little over a year, I think it's been, and it blends well. Those Her eyeshadows do blend well. I'm gonna give this right here. It just came into my life, but I like it a lot. I gravitate towards these kind of colors. Pinky tones, nude tones, and purple tones, those are my fave. You, you will see me with those kind of colors all the time. I don't lean towards too much greens and blues, I don't know why. I mean, I've been lately trying to dabble with green since I got a Jeffree Star palette, which is also a good palette. I can't call it a favorite yet because, well, I just can't call it a favorite yet, but it's Jeffree Star. You know, he has great eyeshadows. I can't really call this Huda 
a favorite yet either but i feel like it will be because everything worked well it's what i did today all of this palette right here is basically on my eyes you had a mirror i mean come on here i will take this in my purse we will go together to the store to work we'll we'll, we'll ride together that's what we're gonna do you guys didn't tell me that i still had stuff on my hand and now it's all over my pants and they're my work pants I'll cry about it later. Okay, moving on. Bronzer. This is the only bronzer that I've used the entire year. This is not a uh, name I've ever heard before. It's called Lovecraft Beauty. I'm almost to the pan, as you can see. You can see all the little grid right there. I think that's the pan part, trying to show its ugly face. But it has even a little mirror. Again, I love mirrors, you know? Come on, give me mirrors all day long. This is my favorite bronzer. This, this also came in the Ipsy box. I would have never tried it anywhere else. They gave it to me, I used it, and I love it. Oh yeah, you can feel those little grids. That must be the pan trying to peek through. No! Beautiful color. It's a nice cool tone. I like it. I like it a lot. The only setting powder that I've been using is this Becca. This is the Hydra Mist. This guy is, feels like a drink of water on your face. It's... I don't know. It is so light and soft and just, it's just beautiful, you know? It has a little net in here and it's, it's, it's a very beautiful setting powder. It just, it just is. And it just feels like you got ice on you. Keep it, keep it tight and closed because if you don't, well, just, just do it. Yeah. Just, just do it. I love it. It mattifies just like a little radiance kind of mattified glow. Nothing I say makes sense sometimes. I don't know, but you get it, okay? Okay, I'm gonna talk about brushes really quick. This brush right here, It Cosmetics. Love is a foundation brush. This one right here, shaped like a heart, okay? It's a little dirty. I didn't clean it, but I've been using it every single day since I bought it. I'm a little bummed because I'm gonna tell you why. When I bought this brush, I bought it at the recommendation of Kathleen Lights and Raw Beauty Christie. I've been watching them and watching them throughout the entire year. All they ever use is this stinking brush, okay? It only comes out during like the October months, November months, some December months, somewhere around those months is when this guy comes out. So I went and bought it, okay? I said to myself, when this comes out, this year, I'm going to rush and I'm going to get it. I don't care if I have to overdraft my bank just to buy this. Well, I didn't have to do that. Thank God. But the problem is, it's not the same one that they have. This one is a flat top. Okay? That means it is completely leveled off. Straight across. You see that? The one that they use, the Kathleen Lights and Raw Beauty Christie, is a dome top. So it's a very densely packed brush with a dome top. It has a heart still. It's still called Love as a Foundation Brush. But this year, they lied to us and they gave us a flat top. It's okay, you know? I mean, it's not okay, but it's okay, you know? Because I really wanted it. I knew it, was, it wasn't the dome top when I got there at the store. I looked at it, I said, hey, wait a minute. Something's not right. This is not rounded. And they said, yeah, we don't know why they changed it up this year, but this year it's flat. What can I say? It still costs the same price. <laughs> you know, it should have been half the price because you're getting half the brush on top. So, you know, come on, cut the price down, right? People, come on. It cosmetics. Really? I still got it. I still love it. It still applies great. Maybe it doesn't buff as well as the dome top one, but it really does a beautiful job. And I'm not going to say otherwise because I wouldn't lie to you. I love it. I like it. I use it every single day. And it's replaced my In Stylish Beauty Blender. This is the first beauty blender that I went to over and over and over. Um, this also was the first product that was ever sent to me. It's called In Stylish. I still have a code for that. So I'll link it in here somewhere. I'll put it right there. If you do ever want to buy this, I'll put it down in my description box where you can buy this. You can use my code. You can get 10% off. This is the first and only product I've ever been sent but it works 
like it is a gorgeous sponge buffer i don't think it's called a beauty blender because beauty blender is like its own brand but it is a sponge blender and it's a microfiber it has a flat right here it also has flat right here you know it's rounded here it has the corner part where it can get in it does grow quite bigger than this this is it dry you know you gotta soak it up i've used this guy to hell and back i think it's like 12 dollars, but you'll save some some money if you want to use my code bronzer air it, uh, can i talk i don't know it's one in the morning it's probably two now i can't talk it applies my bronzer very nicely it applies everything to my face very nicely i did make a video about this when i first got it in eye shadow brushes are jaclyn hill jeffree star that's it those are my two favorites jaclyn hill kit i haven't had a jeffree star kit but i did buy this one brush by jeffree star this brush i can do an entire look with this brush entire look that's it i don't know i just can use it for everything jaclyn hill jeffree star that's it. I want some Scott Barnes brushes and I want some Wayne Goss brushes, but they're so expensive. They're like $297 for one kit. I think the other kit is like 170. So it is on my list of things I would like to get for the year, but that's gonna take like five or six paychecks. This little guy right here has a special place in my heart because it's the first and only product I've ever been sent ever. I was so glad when I liked it because I was like, oh my God, what if I don't like this product? I have to be honest and I have to tell people that it sucks, you know? And luckily, thank you, Lord, this is actually a really good product. And I'm going to have to get another one because he's already dead in the water. I just keep reviving him, you know? It's not good to do that, but I keep doing it. Well, you guys, I think I took up enough of your time. Those are my favorites. I hope some of my products that I enjoy bring you joy as well. I hope I gave you some maybe fresh ideas, maybe some, you know, something to look forward to, something to put on your little go-to list because that's what I do. I watch YouTube videos and then I mark down everything I want to try out and then I try to go buy it and tell me what your favorite stuff is. Leave it down in the description box below. What do I always say? Love one another, be kind, and be helpful. That's it for today. I'll see you guys next time. If you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please do so right now. I'm too tired to yell at you, so just do it. It's two in the morning. I'm tired. Feel bad for me. I'm gonna try to go to sleep now. Love you guys. Bye. I just wanna show you guys a close up of how long this eye makeup has lasted me. The little star, the little heart. Why do I keep calling these stars? They're not stars, man. These little hearts that I did, the entire makeup look just lasted me for hours and hours since about noon. And we're like two in the morning right now. My makeup is looking pretty good. Just want to stick that in there.